Mental health problems is highest among those who age 16 to 19 years, with 18.3% having depression and 10% having suicidal thoughts. What we heard just now is similar to what most teenagers go through in their everyday life. The life in secondary school is a totally new environment and takes a lot of energy out of the students in order to adapt to the environment. Sadly, we fail to address these problems and alienate those who are willing to step up and talk about it. We often have a misconception that mental illness is only for those who are crazy and have lost their way in the world. But we live in a world that is extremely competitive and students face that pressure too. It is not only about the academics, it, is, it also consists of social life, personal life, beauty standards and the list goes on. Our parents have the constant habit of stating that nothing is wrong with your life. We have provided everything for you. Don't tell me that you're depressed. You are too young to be depressed. This is the common misconceptions parents have towards the mental health of their children. This is putting a lot of pressure on the students. How many of us have silently shoved down our emotions? so no one would judge us. There are also times when we lock ourselves in the bathroom and cry for hours. Is this something that should be normalized? It is a now or never situation. When someone's feelings and emotions are not addressed, it could lead to only one thing, suicide. How do we define stigma? Stigma often involves inaccurate stereotypes. What are the examples of mental illness stigma? When someone with a mental illness is called dangerous, crazy, or incompetent rather than unwell, it is an example of a stigma. It's also a stigma when a person with mental illness is mocked or called weak for seeking help. Suicide, how are you doing now? I'm doing good so far. After uh, all of the traumatic experiences that I've been through, when actually, for instance, when I got an F for my ad maths and my mathematics, my whole family called me in disgrace and uh, I felt like giving up. And at one point, I couldn't take it, I failed three exams in a row. My academics were going down the drain and uh, well now it's my last year of school and I'm doing so far so great now. So there, how are you? I've been having some family problems. I feel like my parents constantly alienate me when they make decisions. I've been feeling depressed for a while now. So Akira, how are you doing now? I have been doing okay so far since I reached out to my therapist. What caused these problems? My family's financial problems meddling with my mental health. I have been shoving it inside for a while now. A few months ago, I was diagnosed with severe anxiety. So Martin, how are you now? Things are not going well for me. I've been going through depression for a while now. I was diagnosed with an eating disorder a month ago. I clearly disagree with the statement that youth in our country are mentally healthy because they seem to be happy outside but they do have a lot of unspoken emotions within them which they are afraid to share with people. So I clearly disagree with the statement. Well, how can we support those who are going through these issues? The first step forward is by talking to someone you truly trust. It could be a counsellor, a friend, even your parent. The word I got you could mean so much. We should stop laughing at the people around us when they are genuinely opening up to us. Even if you can't help them out, listening to them is more than enough. 
Let us get out of this stigma towards mental health. Let's prioritize mental health as much as we prioritize physical health. Lack of awareness and misconceptions about mental illness will only make this problem much worse.